Welcome back to YouTuber Headlines. Today's video is all about Kristen Casper. If you guys don't know who Kristen is, she was a family vlogger. Her comments got turned off on her channel because she was a family vlogger. I mean, you guys know about that. YouTube turned off a lot of comments on channels who were showing children. She changed her niche to cleaning. She took her kids off social media. She opened a boutique and then quit YouTube. She had major drama with her ex BFF Danny. Just check out my playlist on Kristen Casper if you need to get caught up on any of that stuff. But now, moving on to today's video. I've been on here much for a while. And I think it's because I've just been like, not anymore, not now, currently, in this moment. But I was like so burnt out. Um, and I don't do YouTube anymore. And I've just been like 100% focused on the boutique and like the family and all that stuff. So it's a nice little break. So she's burnt out on what? She's burnt out on Instagram? Because she doesn't do YouTube. Is she burnt out on her boutique already? Just like live life and not document it, but. But you made this your job. It was your choice to make documenting your life your job. And now you're sick of it? <laughs> you know, I just want Instagram to be a place where like, I go at, like and post when I want to and not Oh, I have to create content today and post it or I have to post something today. And it she sounds like Megan Lee. Megan Lee just said the exact thing about YouTube. So it sounds like you don't want Instagram to be your job, but you've already made it your job. If you want to grow your platform, reach more people, get more customers for your boutique, you got to show up daily. A lot of influencers don't want to deal with the public, don't want to answer their DMs, don't want to show up daily, don't want to go to work on social media, but they want you to buy all the shit they promote. Got to that point. So I had to take a little step back, but you know, took a little time off and now I'm back. So a little break just fixed everything? No, I don't believe that for a second. She hates dealing with the public. She hates her DMs. <laughs> I don't even know why she's on social media at this point. I mean, I guess because it's been her job for so long. I don't know what else she would do. I think she said she wanted to be a hairdresser at one point, I think. But she really comes off as bothered and she comes off as not wanting to deal with the public and irritated by the public a lot, which is weird because she's worked for so many years to build her platform. And now I feel like she's at a point where she's not happy. She's not happy doing social media. I mean, it's obvious. Looking back, because I've been watching Kristen on YouTube for a while, I don't think she was ever happy. She's always been looking for a way out of YouTube. She's been involved in so many MLMs. She's finally at a point now where she could quit YouTube, and she did. If you listen to any social media strategist, the first thing they tell you to do is start a YouTube channel, grow on YouTube, get your ass on YouTube. And she just got off of YouTube right after opening a new business. She was just sick of YouTube. And I think she's sick of Instagram too. <laughs> she's so over it, but she's like trapped. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Um, I was very burnt out from like the constant like sharing and stuff. So it was super nice to just like live life and not, okay, this hair, I've got to wash it. She doesn't share that much. She totally cut out YouTube. She only has Instagram. She shows her backyard. She shows her boutique. I don't know, her makeup. She doesn't even share that much. And she's burnt out with sharing the little that she shares. Um, but also, one thing that makes me like pull back big time and like not want to share anything in my life is people. I told you she doesn't care for the public. She doesn't want to answer her DMs. She doesn't want to answer comments. She don't care what you think. She doesn't want to hear you. She has to fake it on Instagram. I believe she fakes it on Instagram every time she gets on Instagram. People are brutal. And just so mean and so invasive and like entitled and like just ruthless and 
Did you know that influencers are all of those things too? <laughs> influencers think like they do no wrong and they're perfect and they're so easy to deal with. You guys are mean. You guys are invasive and entitled and privileged and all of those things. It makes me, it makes me want to like go into hermit mode and not share anything. When people are just so over the weirdest things, like ass assumptions about things in your life and like things that you've never shared about. Welcome to the internet. Where have you been? You're not new here. You've been around for a while. Why are you shocked by all of this? If you create content, you will be criticized. People will have assumptions and opinions. It comes with the territory. There's only one way to avoid criticism. Do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing. So with all that said, just remember. <laughs> Try to remember that everyone you're watching on the internet has a real life outside of like what they post on Instagram. Like, um, yeah, I think we know that. I think we realize that you guys are people and that you have a life. What are you trying to say here? Can I give you a tip here? The number one thing viewers hate to hear from influencers is exactly what you're doing here. Complaining and whining about your job, your influencing job. Viewers, don't like to hear this crap. Influencers should do less whining. Seriously, you're whining about your customers. And just focus on your content. Just put out content and keep it moving. I'm a, I'm a human, I'm a person, you know? So everything you see on the internet is not always true. Is she trying to tell us what she puts out isn't true. Like, what is she trying to say here? She beats around the bush more than Brittany Morrow does. Brittany Morrow talks in circles. Kristen does too. Like, just say what you're trying to say. And just be nice, okay? Can we just be nice? And then she ends it with a pouty lip. You guys, Bits of Brie does this. The little pouty lip when she doesn't get her way or if something happened you know like what's with the pouty lip you're not talking to your husband you know what i mean she could have ended this conversation strong and she just didn't do it a while ago kristen posted this on instagram because you guys know she started selling saint makeup kristen said why have i been sleeping on this makeup it's just been sitting in my drawer for so long it's like my skin but better i love that i can see my freckles too Remember when I shared it with y'all back in like February of 2021? I just ordered more colors to play with and I'll have to share with you soon. A viewer sent me this DM. I almost died. This is so accurate. It's funny to me that Kristen Casper has no idea why all of a sudden she pulls out her saint makeup, lol. Um, it's because Erin, that's why, duh, she's always a follower. Just stop. At least say, after seeing Aaron's stories, it made me think about using mine again, lol. People have referred to Kristen for a while now. I've been hearing this for years as the broke Aaron Williams. She tries to do everything that Aaron does, but she doesn't have the money that Aaron does. She's nowhere close to Aaron when it comes to finances. Really pay attention to the YouTube algorithm or like do what everybody else is doing i just i don't know i just do what i want to do <laughs> i don't follow the rules and that's why my channel never like blew up it's just slowly grown over the last eight years that's did you seriously just say that because nobody believes you all you do is pay attention to what other people are doing that's why you started the cleaning videos that's why you started LuLaRoe. That's why you started all the other MLMs you've been involved with. That's why you're in Modare now. Because you do follow others and do what other people do. Come on, Kristen. Just be real about it. And I think the reason her YouTube channel never blew up because she always had one foot out the door. She was always trying to leave YouTube any chance she could get. And she did. She took a year break, I think at one time, to focus on an MLM. And then she quit the MLM and came back to YouTube. Also, she kept changing her niche on YouTube because she wanted to do whatever was going to work. She didn't care. Family vlogging, cleaning, lifestyle, whatever works. My channel did way better 
before my comments ever even got shut off than it even does now. It's crazy. I don't think that's crazy because at that time in your YouTube career, you were a family vlogger. You were exploiting your kids and kids bring in the viewers. But I didn't have comments for two years. She seems really bothered by that, doesn't she? I think a lot of family vloggers enjoyed not having comments for several years. They didn't have to deal with their audience. And we know Kristen doesn't like to deal with her viewers. We all know that. Kristen, Michelle, and Bronte, I think Bronte lives in Vegas, went to Vegas. Some of the friend group did not go. I think Nat Renner didn't go. And the other girl, oh my gosh, I cannot remember her name. One other girl did not go as well. So viewers sent Kristen DMs, probably sent some of the other girls DMs and said, hey, why didn't you go to Vegas? They're just interested. I mean, you've gone eight years on social media trying to get people interested in your life. Now they're interested in your life and you're so bothered by it. Kristen posted this on Instagram while she was in Vegas. Bothered in Vegas. Should that be the title of this video? I don't know, we'll see. I have so many messages asking why isn't blank there? What about blank, etc. Listen, just because a group of us went on a girls trip together doesn't mean every trip is going to be the same group always, LOL. There isn't always tea or some big explanation or reason behind everything. We made plans to come to a concert in Vegas and those that were able to come came, simple as that. People really reach these days looking for a story or drama. Influencers flex their friend group all the time. They almost make their friend group part of their brand. Yeah, that happens. So you have to be careful who you flex on social media. So they get viewers interested in their friend group. They get viewers interested in their life, their vacation, their boutique, all things, right? But then when you ask a question like, hey, why didn't Nat go on your trip? You get a post like this from Kristen? Why are you so bothered by a question, Kristen? You've always made your life content on social media. Now people are interested in your friend group. You actually have a friend group on social media. You flex your friend group on social media, but people can't ask you a question like, why didn't Nat go on the trip? Why didn't whoever go on the trip? Why is that such a reason to get so bothered by. I think Kristen is just bothered by social media in general. She's over it, but she's like forced to show up on social media because she needs the money and she likes the attention too. She doesn't care about your opinion. <laughs> she blocks people left and right. Influencers tell viewers all the time, well, if you don't like my content, unfollow. If you don't like this, unfollow. Stop following me, stop viewing my content. We could ask influencers, a similar question. Why do you keep showing up on Instagram every day if you're so bothered? If you don't enjoy creating content, if you don't want to make content, if viewers get on your nerves, why do you keep showing up to a job that you can't really stand? You can't stand your customers. You don't want to interact with them. You just want viewers to click your link and buy something and never speak to you. And that's just not the way it works. A viewer sent Kristen a DM and she posted it to Instagram. The viewer said, you're so passive aggressive. I'm sure it is extremely annoying to constantly deal with shitty people and read their messages, but not all content creators react as much or the way you do. It makes you seem really defensive. I really loved your cleaning and cooking videos. I miss those, but the vibe here feels so catty in high school. Yes, I agree. Adding a laughing emoji doesn't make your comment come across as carefree. They make you look really bothered and like it got to you. She posted the viewer's username as well, and her only response was LOL. So last week, Kristen actually made her Instagram private. It's not private anymore. She's over Instagram. She's just forced to come to work every day because she relies on this income. She needs this income. Even though her husband went back to work, I really think she needs her social media income. Back in the day when it was just Donnie working and she first started social media, they struggled financially. I mean, they've always struggled financially. I think their finances got a lot better once she started making a good amount of money on social media. We all know their finances improved because Donnie was able to quit his job, but he's back at work now. I think you should go check out this video next. Tiffany claims she was scammed by an Etsy seller. 
If we apply Tiffany's logic to her new business, she just scammed all of her viewers.